Okay, so while I shuffle the cards and uh, get those going, I thought you could look at the chart again. You guys, let me know if you like it this way or not. I, I don't think it slows me down much, but I anyway, this is for Wednesday, <laughs> July 26th. And you can see the moon's in Scorpio, and we have an opposition to Jupiter here. So, I uh, this this is a day for doing some spiritual healing work, especially with the, we still have one of the yods, the finger of fate. So coming from Mercury and Venus retrograde, Ven Mercury's uh, direct, but Venus retrograde is still. I mean, it's cooking up to. They're kissing. <laughs> They're kissing. <laughs> and uh, Mercury, or I'm sorry, Venus is at that focal point of this tight aspect of the yod, which is, uh, you know, a way to control your own fate. So it's, I'm thinking it's a good day for using your heart energy to connect with your spirit, your physical heart, going inside, connecting deeply with your spirit. There's our first card there. Uh, and creating whatever you're trying, you know, to work on your manifesting, basically. And that's especially true because we have uh, another opposition here between Saturn and uh, Mars. Mars in Virgo is working through those details to, uh, to manifest and master your spiritual, your ability to manifest from your spirit, manifesting from your inner being. Yay! Okay, let me bring the camera down just a little, or the lens, anyway. Oh, come on. There we go. So you can see we have the Ten of Wands reversed, and uh, the Three of Wands upright so far. So the Ten of Wands reversed gives me the feeling that it's, uh, it's time to delegate, if you can, if you have someone there to uh, delegate to. If not, then you know you're, it's all your own responsibility. It's, it's a time for uh, moving away <clears throat> from other people dumping their burdens on you or you taking responsibility for other people's um, issues that you just can't do anymore. It's a, it's a time for getting things off of your head, getting things uh, off of your back, off of your shoulders, and moving forward in a brand new way uh, that makes you feel complete and whole. If this has to do with traveling, uh, you can expect delays, and uh, but then eventually, and I don't think it'll be too long. Uh, things will move forward, and then you'll be you'll be going right back where you wanted, or getting to where you wanted to go. Uh, with that uh, uh, world card there, I'm, I'm noticing two two Saturns, right? <laughs> two cards relating to Saturn. <gasps> yeah. And of course, this is a, a you know summertime energy card with uh, the three of three of wands in the in the center there. That three of wands is, is when it comes to upright. It, it besides being about travel, it's about looking forward to something. It's about success. Our world card is also about success, and um, so with that Jupiter opposing um, the Moon. Now, the moon can relate to family, and it can also relate to uh, hanging out with people that you love. And with Jupiter there, I'm thinking it's going to be really happy. With that Jupiter opposing um, the moon, I, I see happiness there, happiness and success. And maybe where this Ten of Wands reversed is really giving us the opportunity to just let go, let go and let down and have some fun and... Um, and not worry anymore about things. Just have a day to, well, every day should be about not worrying. I mean, worrying kind of kind of defeats its purpose. I mean, we, we're doing it as a means to protect ourselves, but it doesn't really because it just attracts more of the, of the fear to us. So best thing to do 
you know, I had to learn this when my kids were small. It was like if I was worrying about them all the time, I was just making it worse. But anyway, the the best thing to do is to I uh, set set up situations so that safety is first, precaution is first. You're prepared, and then you know, like imagine a teacher that uh, uh, that has a lesson plan and it's all lined up and she you know it's something that that's done uh often and it maybe there's a set program but then when you show up with your students maybe some things are changed to fit the moment to fit the the group to fit the um the situation so that when when you have your modality set up, your parameters set up, your protocols set up, once you're you've got that groove going on, then you can just let go of that burden. And uh, of the burden of the tight like rigid container that uh, you know like I have to do it this way and it has to be done this way. There's no more having it needing to have it be done and there's a lot to look forward to. So I think that's just absolutely fantastic. Uh, so let go of needing to do it all. Let go of uh, taking responsibility for anyone else other than yourself. And look forward to whatever new life you're creating because it, it will, and if it's travel, look forward to that as well. But it will be bringing through success and happiness, and something that makes you feel that uh, you've really got something to celebrate, and you're you're really complete inside on the inner levels. <laughs> how fantastic! Anyway, you guys, let me know how your day goes. I'm excited for you. Okay, bye.